Welcome back, it's Don Garbutt. This is part one of a two-part tutorial series on the Sugar Bytes plugin Artillery 2. This is a great interactive plugin that is controlled by MIDI notes. You can load it as an insert, but you won't be able to access the MIDI features. So once again, create a software instrument and load it as an audio unit's MIDI controlled effect. Once you've done that, send your audio signal out of bus, set the bus output to no output, and choose that bus as a sidechain input on the artillery. Artillery comes loaded with presets. When you select a preset, you see the different effects devices that are loaded in the keyboard range. The keyboard ranges can be adjusted by dragging. You can adjust the boundaries of a keyboard range. You can delete an effect by control or right click. And you can add an effect on any of the black key areas here by just clicking. These will be the key areas by which you can control the effects from your MIDI keyboard. I'm going to start with an empty patch that you'll find in the factory folder. This will allow us to totally customize a set of effects on artillery. Let's put an effect on C0. Now we can select the effect from the effects folder. Let's try the granular looper. You can hear that the effect happens when I push the key down. Each assigned effect can have its own quantizing of the onset of the effect. This makes it very easy for live playing. Very handy feature. You can also adjust an envelope which determines the onset of the effect. This allows a gradual transition in and out for the effect. You can also control the effect balance in a wet dry balance value here. These settings are unique for each individual effect that you choose. Let's load another effect on the next key. I've loaded a dynamic filter which is going to trigger from the envelope of the volume of the input signal. I want to point out that the order of the notes that you play determines the signal path of the effects. If I add the stutter key first and then press the next key, the filter will affect the stuttering signal. Or if I press the filter first, then the stutter will affect the filtered signal. If you want to manually activate an effect, you can automate the on-off button here. You also have the option to toggle an effect on by setting that effect's key mode to toggle. In toggle mode, pressing the key will start the effect and the effect will stop when you replay that same key. If you're using an effect with a sloping onset and release, if you switch the re-trigger to legato, then as long as you don't have a gap between your notes, the envelope doesn't re-trigger when you're playing notes within the range of one effect. Again, each effect has its own envelope and its own characteristic trigger settings. All the controls in artillery are MIDI assignable as well. Just control or right click on a knob, move a MIDI fader and away we go. Let's check some more plugin types. You see the categories of amplitude effects, modulation, delay, filter, granular, and special. Let's jump into special and see what we have. Here we have a keyboard controlled pitch shifting effect. For that I'm going to give it a bit more keyboard range. For the pitch parameter to be controlled by the key that you play, you have to assign key tracking. Give it full value and that gives it a semitone shift per semitone on the keyboard. I'm playing these examples live so the timing may not be exactly perfect. So I'm going to use the key quantize function to make the timing a little tighter. That's it for the general introduction to the Artillery 2 plugin. On the next tutorial, I'm going to go into detail about selecting modulators and assigning them to targets in each plugin. Each parameter in every plugin can be a target from any of the modulators. It's a very flexible system. We'll look at that in the next tutorial. Bye for now.